Hey there Jet Boosters, my name is RR Abrat and we're going to learn how you can create a favorite list in Jet Boost. What this allows you to do is create a page and add a list of all your favorites and it will be dynamic with whatever you click as you like it or as you favorite it so that a user can kind of see what are all the CMS items or collection items that they favorited or that they liked. First off, we see here we are in our Webflow Designer and we have our collection list set up. A couple of things that we want to make sure as we set up this collection list. Now notice this looks like our other pages where you have our collection list. Here's our blog post items. And this is an add-on to the favorite button. Now in this collection list, this is a static page. And notice we placed the collection list wrapper inside a div block. This div block, we're going to name it a class later using that JetBoost generated class. Now, one thing you note on the title, the title is not connect, uh, contained inside the div block. You want to make sure that there is nothing inside this div block except for the ones that JetBoost told you told us to put, uh, which I will instruct you now. So we have the collection list wrapper, and we also have two particular div blocks that we're going to add. One of them, let me show this real quick is one where it says you haven't liked any blog posts yet so that this is what shows where well, there are no liked blog posts where we called it no favorites and then we called one called loading this is helpful when you have a lot of items and it may take a while to load so that the user knows that this is working and these items are loading okay so now that we have our page set up we'll go ahead and set this up through jet boost let's go to jet boost and notice here we are in the same um, booster where we used uh, for our favorite button. If you want to watch that video, you can go ahead and go back to some of the other videos about adding a favorite button. Once we've clicked finish, we have power up so we can add for this favorite button. And what we're going to use is favorite list. We can go in and view all of it. And I'll just go ahead and click view all. Or we could even click this. And there's our different power ups. What I'm going to do is favorites list and we're going to be instruct. We're going to get instructions how to add this favorites list. So we'll click favorites list and we are still in the same uh, collection list where we added that booster where we added a favorite button. So now that we have this, we'll go ahead and copy this class name and we're going to add this class name to the div block where that collection list is contained. Okay, so that will go over here. And this is this div block right here. Go ahead and add our class. And then here we have our collection list. Now a couple things we're going to do is first off, we'll go back to this later. Notice that's kind of the order that we want, which is exactly what we have right here. We'll go ahead and grab this embed code and go over here. And we can really add this anywhere where I usually put it is right underneath here. It's going to be hidden anyway, so it doesn't really matter where we add it. We'll add an embed, uh, an embed element, and then add this code. And then save and close. Now that we've added that, we'll just do a couple things. We created our no favorites div, which is right here. Then we've created our loading div, which is right here. And since this will be the default, what we actually want to do is we want to hide our collection list wrapper so that you don't affect your other collection lists. We'll just uh, create a class called hide or hidden. That's always a helpful tip and hide that. So that anytime you want to hide something, just add a class called hide. And then we want to go ahead and make this the no favorites hidden as well. And then once you publish it, this should work automatically. And let's go ahead and check it out. So we're publishing our domain and then let's go to our page. Here's our favorites. Now, how do we know this is correct? Well, let's go to our main page. We actually added it right here. So let's go ahead and take this out. And let's go ahead and check back our page favorites list. Now notice we don't have any like blog posts. Go back to our home page. Let's say we click this. This is the best example of beautiful motion graphics. Web design blogs you can't miss, history of web development, logo design your boss wants to know, 20 myths about web design. 
Then let's go ahead and go to favorites list. And there is our, our, our list of favorites that we have. And that is how you create a favorite list using the power up to the favorite button booster in Jet Boost.